Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about a topic that may seem um, rather taboo, business and babies. I recently had my son, he's seven weeks old, you can see him here right beside me, and some of my work habits have had to shift and change since he's come into my life. So um, for other women who are small business owners or freelancers, contractors, stay at home, workers essentially i have some strategies that i wanted to share and also just give you an update on how things are going with the two of us so first of all my my work habits have shifted slightly since having a newborn and what i found as a small business owner and you may have the same experience is that your work cannot stop just because you've had a newborn many women have a typical six-week maternity leave um, as a small business owner, I felt extraordinarily blessed that at seven weeks, I'm still able to be with my son um, throughout most of the day. And I think for many women, having to go back to work at that six week period um, can be really, really challenging. So I felt blessed. But another challenge that's alongside with that is that I pretty much went back to work right away as a small business owner. Um, I didn't want any of my client relationships to um, to falter. I also wanted to make sure that all of my team members felt confident in the work that they were doing to support the projects while I was um, essentially not working full time. But what I noticed is that pretty much as soon as I got home, I was already back to strategizing, having phone calls, texting, emailing, communicating with my team, communicating with the clients, making sure everything was A-OK. -okay. And about probably one or two weeks postpartum, I was starting to get back into regular meetings and working on some deliverables. But um, at the same time, I feel like although that that is the challenging part of it, um, jumping back into work right away, that's also the blessing because um, now that we're at the six, seven, almost eight week postpartum date, I'm able to continue spending this time mostly at home with my son. So um, in that way, I think it's really great. Uh, the second thing I'd like to share that I think could be beneficial for other women in this position is that enjoy these newborn times. And I mean that actually both in terms of your work and in terms of your new status as um, the mother of a newborn. First of all, enjoy every second you can with your baby and all of the cuddles that you're going to get. Um, some babies are harder than others. Bryce happens to be um, a very laid back baby. And uh, my first child, Clara, was a lot feistier as a newborn. It took a lot more work on our part to keep her happy. Um, so Bryce has been a little bit more along for the ride. And that's certainly helpful as a small business owner if you end up with a baby like that. But, um, but something to keep in mind is, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself to take on everything that you were doing before your baby arrived because the truth is these early days go by so fast you're going to blink and your baby will be a toddler that's how i feel with my first with my daughter um so definitely enjoy all of these times and at the same time um there's nothing like being a new mom uh, there's nothing that can quite compare to the drain, the feeling of being drained that you'll have as being a new mother. So, um, so at the same time, while I say get all of those cuddles, enjoy that time, take some time for you. And for me, as a business owner, as someone who gets to do creative work every day, I needed to be doing some of that creative work. It's part of the way that I, it's part of how I function. So I, of course, I wanted my business to continue running well, but at the same time, I wanted to be using my mind in that way, be creative, be um, exercising that, my, my brain muscle, because um, because it's very easy to get sort of sucked into the life of, of a newborn. And, and so for me, that's strategy number two is spend time with that newborn, but integrate that newborn into your work life if you can. So for me, honestly, at three weeks postpartum, I was toting this little guy down to Starbucks and we were enjoying a coffee and getting some work done together. They sleep a lot in the beginning. Enjoy that. As the mother of a 15 month old and a seven week old, I can tell you at 15 months, my daughter is not coming with me to Starbucks. She is not able to 
really be with me when I'm working. Um, you know, most days she can play in the background and I, I have child care, uh, a child care provider who helps me. Um, I'm certainly not going to be able to sit here and focus on work when I have to be thinking about whether she's going to jump off of the couch or get into, get into the pantry. So, um, so enjoy these newborn times in the sense of the kind of space that it'll give you to, to, um, to do some work while the baby is sleeping a lot. And the third thing that I wanted to talk to you about, it's not so much a strategy, it's more something to be aware of. Your brain may shift dramatically when you have a newborn. Um, what I'm finding, and maybe this, uh, I think this is probably true for all mothers, whether you're breastfeeding or you're bottle feeding. For me, I was breastfeeding, and so the weight of keeping this little man alive is pretty much exclusively on my shoulders. What that means is that there's, there, my brain has just changed. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not able to do long stretches of work. Say hello to everybody. Say hi. We'll just bounce together here on our balance ball. <laughs> so whereas before, it wouldn't be a struggle at all to put in eight-hour days or 10-hour days even. Um, now that this little man is here, I have to work in what I'm calling power chunks. If my brain has enough capacity to focus on one of the deliverables I'm working on or a new blog post or a, a new system that I want to develop for our company or a new marketing campaign, then I make sure to set that, side of uh, set that time aside and focus on it. What I'm finding is that I'm getting really powerful one and a half to two and a half hour sessions. Um, uh, to work exclusively without worrying too much about the little guy. Um, it works out well. I, I think maybe this is biological because that's about how long his naps are anyways. Um, he doesn't usually stay awake for much longer than a couple of hours. So that's my biggest advice is to accept the fact that your brain may shift slightly during this time because you are constantly focusing on keeping this little human alive and that's exactly natural and how it should be, um, in my opinion, at least that's how it feels for me. And so making sure that I have some of that brain space and not putting a lot of pressure on myself to work a straight, focused eight hour day. Um, and you know, I'm finding that I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm really enjoying being a little more active, you know, as someone who works on a computer most of the time, and you can probably relate to this. If you're working on a computer all day long, you, it's really not great for your health. There's a lot of articles that have come out that have talked about the dangers of sitting for long periods of time. So this is really um, a great, for me, this is working out fine to t work fo in a focused way for a couple of hours and then accept the fact that I'm going to need a break to breastfeed him or to have a snack or to just get, just to let my brain kind of recharge because I'm telling you, for me anyway, my ability to focus for long periods of time has shifted. So those are really my three strategies for surviving the early newborn days as a small business owner and a new mother of a newborn. So um, I would love to hear some of your strategies and thoughts. Please share in the comments down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.